All right, we're back. I'm trying round two now. I zoomed in a little bit, and I'm going to try to keep my fingers closer to whatever this cutting mat thing is. I ran out of tape, so I used some uh, sticky notes to keep track of where the edges are of this thing. So if you hear any sounds, that's what that is to try to keep me in range of where I'm supposed to be. So you might be wondering why spend the time cleaning mold lines off a trash troop unit when it's most likely you're not going to see them. Well, depending on the type of way you're painting, uh, mold lines can show up quite easily from a distance um, if the paint is extremely thin or almost has no thickness at all. Um, the way I usually paint my orcs is, um, unless they're in HQ, um, I must entirely use washes, washes and glazes. And um, that's usually put over top of a base coat, which is basically just pre-shaded uh, Zenith highlighted primers. Um, so because of that, it's very thin and any type of raised lip is really easy to see and stands out quite a bit. Um, on the actual Runthard body, um, I'm using the file because uh, some of the bits are a little bit too big to take down with just the scraper tool. Oh, this is a horrible idea. Let's get rid of that one. It's pretty easy to use, but I think the key is here is to not go crazy with it. Oops, I'm going off camera. I'm gaining a rapid and quick respect for people who do tutorials, considering that this is quite, uh, let's move this down a little bit, quite a bit more difficult to keep track of where the camera is. Alright, now just stay near the table, Greg, even though it seems like you're 800 miles away. And the good thing about this is the camera's right next to my face, so you should be able to hear me. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't auto-zoom when you bring it close. I'm going to need a fancier camera for that. Oh, lovely. Old line's right on the edge. Maybe because it's 1080p you'll be able to see this. I can pretend it's 4K and I downsampled it so I can sound all cool before the 8K TV TVs come out and then of course someone will be like, oh we need 16K and then you can't count the individual hairs on this face. Let's get 32K. By that point, I'll probably need so many corrective laser visions that it won't matter what res the TV is. That was one of the nice things about getting older. You can't see all the mistakes you made on your minis anymore. <laughs> Though generally you can't see underneath the arm of a rune thard or... I still like to make sure it's not there so it doesn't bug me. Why these are in two separate sections, I'll never know. Stay close to the table, Greg. Hmm, I'm gonna need a different camera. This is really far away, I can't even see if I'm doing it right. You're supposed to just be able to drag this to cross. The nice thing about it, it's a full tang, so it doesn't move very much when you go up and down. It's very rigid. Which is uh, one of the main differences I've seen this between this and other tools. Other tools usually have a, a small tang. Tang being the length of the blade, aka a fancy term used so that it sounds cool. Um, 
when they get little mold lines like this between the spikes. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know Romer. I wonder if that's how you say Romer's name. Um, Romer goes and he cleans in between the knuckles of guys. I that's just so impressive to me. Well, look at that hidden mold line right here. I'm just going to do the run thread on this, and then we'll, uh, the next video will have me, uh, painting. The one thing about this glue is, is it likes, does like to have, uh, a bit of a more rougher surface, but it'll do just fine because it's basically melting the plastic. You do not want to use this glue if you're uh, trying to snack a snag a piece on a already partially painted model it will eat the paint right off because it's basically just acetone also you should prob oh i guess his arms in the hat here now oh, that's cool i guess i'll just probably fall over on the base a lot let's go use this head he seems angry Generally with heads, I'd usually just try to use the ones I haven't used before. My army's got two units of grot, so... That being said, if I haven't used a head before, I'll go for the most interesting one, or the ones with the least bad mold lines. When it comes down to it, I'm a bit of a lazy modeler. I'm always impressed when you guys are coming up with your awesome conversions, like... All naff naff stuff makes me want to cry. Looks so awesome. It's a tiny orchid. Rawr. I never do any of this stuff in order. I'm like, eh, let's put the head on now. That's cool. Everyone loves that. Alright, I know your arm's in here somewhere, buddy. should also note that when you're, anytime you're using glue, you should have a window open, or at least a fan blowing. I don't right now, because I didn't want the sound in the video. So I'll probably get high and pass out before it ends. Um, one exception of this is, is when I do the airbrush part, you won't be able to hear me. But, uh, I will be wearing a respirator. You do not want to mess around with that. Respirators are cheap. I guess I could be wearing one now. I'm not even following my own advice. Oh, this makes for a great video. Watch Greg fumble about and not listen to his own advice. Cleaning mold lines makes me think a bit about, uh, what it would be like to be a dentist. Or at least a dental hygienist. Good job there, little work. You didn't floss, did you? That's why you're bleeding. I don't usually bother with mold lines on uh, anything that looks like this. A little wrap. They're really hard to see. This is not a competition model. I wouldn't consider myself really into uh, competitive uh, painting yet, even though I've entered many competitions. I just take it, take it uh, to try to force myself to enter the competitions more than anything else for practice. And oh, he's like an old man. Ah, get back here, grots. Ah. Well, that's a huge gap. Let's move this arm over before it melts. Always good to check your fitment before the glue dries. Because this glue melts the plastic, it will help uh, cover up some seams. Oh, shoot. I haven't decided if I'm going to just openly swear on this thing yet, but we'll see. 
I guess it should be family friendly. Is Greggles family friendly? Depends how much alcohol I'm drinking. I hope this is more entertaining than it looks. Oh, son of a... Come on, buddy. Stay. I just want to glue this last staff on and then that's it for the building video. I'll do the rest of the grouts off camera. Now we'll let them dry and, well, once everything's not uh, Forge World bent, there we go. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll uh, look forward to the painting part of this and I'll assemble the rest of the grouts and get back to you. Bye.